So the packed blood goes into the arteries. Then again it is comes back to the vein and we get the image here. So this is the basically what we do here. You have a control image and there is a labeling plane here. You apply the images and again you take the scan and the So there is an image without labeling and that is with the you apply an inversion recovery pulse inferiorly then you acquire the images after the post labeling delay. So this post label delay is the time duration for spins to, to travel from the image plane to the slices it is about uh, normally about 1.5 to 2 seconds. So after having seen this what is a post label delay the types of ASL let us move on to the clinical applications of ASL. It is very useful in uh, cerebrovascular diseases, tumors and uh, evaluation on epilepsy patients and pediatric patients and traumatic brain, brain injury patients. So what are the key points to differentiate ASL and a bolus perfusion unit imaging? As I mentioned above, it is non-contrast, it cannot measure cerebral blood volume, it is repeatable and it is insensitive to blood brain damage whereas the bolus PWI is um, needs gadolinium containing agents and errors can occur due to blood brain barrier damage. It has a lesser scan time of only 1 to 2 minutes whereas the scan time of the ASL is about 3 to 5 minutes. So the main advantage of ASL is it is available now with all vendors and generally it is recommended at higher levels 1.5 or 3 tesla. So this is a typical case of an acute infarct involving a T2 weighted image you see the hyperintense gyral thickening and edema with the restricted diffusion and this is the SWO image that shows few areas of gradient blooming.